we're asked to sketch a graph of the function f of x equals one plus five cosine of pi divided by two times the quantity x minus three. Let's begin by determining the values of a, b, d, and c of the cosine function in this form, which will indicate the transformation. Notice a is the coefficient of the cosine function, and therefore a is equal to positive five. The amplitude is equal to the absolute value of a, and therefore the amplitude is equal to the absolute value of five, which is five. Also, because A is positive, we do not have a reflection across the midline. If A was negative, we would have a reflection across the midline. So let's indicate no reflection. Next, notice B is equal to pi over two, and the period is equal to two pi divided by B, and therefore the period is equal to two pi divided by pi over two. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Two pi divided by pi over two is equivalent to two pi over one times the reciprocal of pi over two, which is two over pi. Simplifying before multiplying, there's one pi and pi here and here. Notice how we're left with two times two, which is four. So the period is four. Next, notice how d is equal to positive three. We determine the value of d when we have subtraction here. So because d is equal to positive three, we do have a phase shift or a horizontal shift, because d is positive three, the shift is right three. And finally, c is equal to positive one, because c is equal to positive one, we have a vertical shift of up one unit. Because we have a vertical shift of up one unit, the midline is no longer the x-axis or y equals zero, it is y equals one. And now let's work on graphing the given function. Let's first sketch the midline of y equals one, just here. Because the amplitude is five, the maximum function value is going to be one plus five or six, way up here. The minimum function value is going to be one minus five, which is negative four. We normally graph one period of the cosine function starting along the y-axis, but because we have a horizontal or phase shift of right three units, we will graph one period of the given function starting at x equals three, which is here. And then we'll have one complete graph of the given function over the period of four radians. And because three plus four is seven, let's also sketch a vertical line at x equals seven. So from x equals three to x equals seven, we will have one complete graph of the given cosine function. When graphing the basic cosine function over one period, we divide the period into four equal subintervals. So let's go ahead and do that over this period. We also know when graphing the basic cosine function over one period, the pattern is maximum, midline, minimum, midline, and maximum. And because A is positive, we don't have a reflection across the midline, and therefore our pattern will be the same. So to graph the given function, we'll first plot the maximum function value of six at x equals three. And then again, the pattern is going to be midline, and then the minimum of negative four, then back to the midline, and then back up to the maximum of six. So the graph of the given function looks something like this from x equals three to x equals seven. To graph this over a larger interval, we can simply copy and paste this function or just follow the pattern. Working our way from x equals three to the left, we would be at the midline here, the minimum of negative four here, then back to the midline, and then back up at a maximum. Then graphing to the right at x equals eight, we will be back to the midline. So this is the graph of the given function. To graph this using the graphing tools, because we have a cosine function, I would probably select this tool here where we can just click on a minimum and a maximum or a maximum and a minimum. For example, if we use this first graphing tool, we could just click on this maximum and then this minimum and the function will be graphed over the entire interval. If we did want to use this graphing tool, we would click on a point on the midline and then a maximum or a minimum. I hope you found this helpful.